Child, it's like ever since the Little Mermaid, this girl been causing a big mess. And I just want her to go back under the sea with this BS. Let's talk about it. I know y'all want to get to the tea, and baby, we will. But for those of y'all that's been living under a rock, baby, my name is Scott Santana. I've only been on YouTube since I was 2016. Started off going viral, telling stories about my crazy life. A couple of years later, I started doing ratchet recipes, went viral on TikTok. Then I opened up a channel, a lot of souls, where I was, you know, using my spiritual and psychic gifts to help the girls and whip them back into alignment. In other words, baby, she's gifted. And see, now I'm here to share all of those gifts on one channel. Beside me, whether it's a deep dive, a commentary video, cooking music, Reading Harvest Toast. Baby, if I want to upload a video of me picking my nose and breathing for 60 minutes, I'm into it. My house, my rules. I mean, I just ask that y'all follow me over on Twitter so I can stop talking to myself. And before you go and try to seek help and seek therapy, baby, seek me. Go to my website and book yourself a personal reading if you need one. Now, feel free to sound off in the comments, but be respectful and act like you got that act right. Because, baby, while you trying to be funny, I'll be my and hilarious and take the show on the road every time now this channel is for critical thinkers we may not always agree you may not always even like me but one thing's for sure your life will be changed after experiencing me so subscribe okay. and if you can afford to take a quarter and throw it into a jar every day and it's not gonna leave you like homeless or destitute baby then you can afford the channel memberships go ahead and click that join button or go to patreon it's really your choice whatever you prefer just give me them coins run me my coins Nah, enough of me rambling, child. I think we made it past the part that was needed to get this video monetized, child. Nah, you do be going. Nah. Let's get into it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the, the internet bull. What is going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi. And we are back for another Let's Talk About It. And honestly, we could call it a quick chat because I promise you, we're not going to be chatting about this for too long because <sighs> I'm about done with Hallie. I'm done with Hallie, Haley, Halaya, 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 Anna, whatever the hell she want to call herself at this point. I'm done, girl. I'm done. Okay? Like, your mama should have named you Gaslight Bailey because that's exactly what you're giving us. That's exactly what you're giving us. Us every time we turn around, Hallie, it's something different. It's something different. Now, granted, this is the first time that she's publicly spoken on this topic aside, aside from you know when she announced the baby. But girl, we done with it all together. We're done with it all together. Okay. But yeah, before we even go deep, y'all already know. Like this video and show me the money is now officially on Apple Music. It only took them about a fucking week to upload it, but it's officially on Apple Music. So Bill. Like I said, Show Me The Money is on everything, okay? Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, all of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So somebody posted on Twitter, Echo Does Radio. I don't really follow her, but I've seen her tweets before. So she's a commentator, very much like me. We just be tweeting out whatever. So I don't know if she tweeted Hallie specifically or if Hallie went and found this post. But honestly, at this point, I keep telling y'all, Hallie is literally the suburban version of Krishan. Her and Krishan are one and the same people. One of the same people. And also, let me make something else clear in case it wasn't clear enough. Because I've done various videos on Hallie, just like I've done various videos on Lotto and on Meg. I can like these people, but I can also call out bullshit. Okay? Like, I was the only one that was streaming Hallie and Chloe's music since 2018. The kids are all right. 
I was the only one in 2020 that was streaming their music before Do It went to radio and got blown the fuck up. And then we got that remix that don't, that nobody asked for. Okay. So I was there before they was on Grownish. Okay. I was there doing a YouTube singing day. Uh, like I was there. So let's shut that down. It's not like I hate the girl, but at the same time, we're going to call the thing a thing. And you're not going to get on the internet and continually <sighs> try to exist, and but play in our face. So somebody was on Twitter and they sent out a tweet. I don't feel like it was addressed directly to Hallie. I feel like maybe she saw her name and followed, like went and, you know, searched up her name and then dug out the tweet or something like that. That's what it's given because I don't see where she added her. But nonetheless, somehow, some way she found the tweet. Now, the girl Echo says, I don't think people are mad that she hid her pregnancy. People are more so annoyed that she went out of her way to lie and gaslight about it. Then she shaded people and called them desperate. Now, she wants those same desperate people to know every little detail. Point blank in a period, I agree. I agree. Because everybody and their mama, it don't matter how many videos I do saying that we do not give a fuck about this damn baby. People have babies every single day, and I don't care how you take that. People have babies every day. It's a part of life. We do not care in the grand scheme of things. The only reason why we even be interested or vested into it is because you're a celebrity. And, you know, of course, we want to see our celebrities, you know, have beautiful moments like every other human being. But in a, like an honest scheme of things, we really don't give a goddamn because it's not making or breaking our goddamn day. It's not. But Hallie decided to respond and said, I never lied or even said anything about it, honey. Making a joke about my nose was the farthest I went. It'll, I'll never understand why you're mad. I protected my own peace. Wouldn't you do the same? See, here we go with it. This is what I mean when I say you got to watch what people say because people are always manipulating the truth or manipulating the narrative. Nobody ever said it was anything about you protecting your own peace. Like you literally just went above and beyond her point. Again, People are not mad that you hit your pregnancy, regardless of for whatever reason. So if if you want to protect your peace was a part of why you hit it, okay, cool. But nobody cares about that. Comment on the part that she said. Let me reread what she said, because apparently, Hallie, you didn't hear it. She said, people are not mad that she hit her pregnancy, a.k.a. people are not mad that she had her pregnancy to... to, to protect that peace. People are not mad, fill in the blank, with whatever other reason. People are more so annoyed because she gaslit and shaded people and called them desperate. Now she wants those desperate people to know every detail. Comment about that, Hallie. Don't come back and try to do a Christian clapback talking about, I'll never understand why y'all mad that I protected my peace. Bitch, we don't give a fuck. That's the point. That's the point. And then talking about something, I'm going to share my pics now if I want to because my son is here safely. If you don't want to see it, just keep scrolling, baby. That's And that's exactly what we're doing. But these boss want to make sure to post you every second. And so we get the right to respond to that. We get the right to respond to that. See, had, see she was trying to be real cute and creative. And this is what's making a lot of people side eye her. And I'm going to definitely be the person that's going to keep bringing up. As a matter of fact, I brought it up in the comments. Let's read my comment. The part that everybody's missing is that she got pregnant one month after Ruby Rose exposed DDG for cheating on Hallie with her. She came online basically so showing my man, my man, my man. So essentially, Hallie had this baby to one up Ruby Rose. And then she gaslit us for months. That's the part that people are missing. That's what everybody's not focused on. Because people forget quickly how, how things happen, but... People like me that sit and do this for a living, we got receipts. We got we got timelines. We got dates that we could go back to. I did a whole video about it. February 2023, Ruby Rose got online exposing the text messages between her and DDG. And everybody and their mama called Hallie dumb. Called her dumb and said, oh, you need to leave this man. You need to leave this man. Hallie said, no, I'm going to do one better. I'm about to have his baby. And then she turned around and got pregnant by him. Do the math. She had the baby December. Nine months before that was what? So that's why people are still talking about it. Because it's it's the fact that you went out of your way not to protect your own peace. See, because you're still gaslighting us with that. You were embarrassed at the fact that you had a baby by somebody who everybody did not want to see you with. If you want to be this bad little bitch and had these bad little bitch comebacks and clapbacks, then you should have stood 10 toes down on all of it, throughout it. Yeah, I had this baby. Yeah, I'm with Disney. Yeah, Disney, this is my man. Like, you should have stood 10 toes down on it, but that's not what happened. You was embarrassed because this nigga was cheating on you. You had this little sympathy baby. 
Okay. And, and let me not even say sympathy, baby, because I know somebody going to be like, oh, you talking about kids? No. But I mean, what else do you call it when somebody's having a baby out of spite? Granted, they could have wanted a family. They could have very much wanted a family. I don't know they in a relationship, but all I know is that one month before you got pregnant, this is what was going on in the public. So that's what I'm speaking on. Okay. Irregardless, your relationship with this boy was so problematic that you couldn't even be public about your relationship. And even Disney allegedly told you that you had to hide that shit. We're not the ones who is in a full-blown relationship, pregnant by a nigga, and then we can't even be next to our baby daddy on the biggest night of our life. That's not our fault, Hallie. So all of these little, like I said, Christian clapbacks that's going on now, and it like, cut it out. Cut it out. Because you wanted this, man. You wanted this relationship. So this is what comes with it. People want to talk about it. People want to talk about it. And people don't have to sit and and like the fact that you upload in this, that, and a third. Now, granted, again, it's not really affecting anybody on a personal level. But again, people are still going to have a fucking opinion about it because of the way that you chose to go about shit. All you had to do was be like, okay, yeah, I'm pregnant, y'all. But no, you came outside purposely in baggy clothes. And cl like you came out knowing that people were going to talk about the way that you looked, the way that your face was changing, the way that your clothes was getting baggier. Like you came out showing all of the pregnancy, pregnancy symptoms, then kept lying. And then of course it kept the conversation going. No, no one is entitled to an answer. But at the same time, you cannot get mad when you are striking up the conversation. The fuck? It's literally that simple. And like somebody else said... <clears throat> Like somebody else said, hiding lupus is viable. Denying hiding, denying hiding and photoshopping something that people can obviously see with their own eyes if they were to spot you in the street is just weird. And sharing the content afterwards is also weird. Protecting your pregnancy is natural, but photoshopping and saying, look, y'all, I got y'all, essentially is attention seeking. And Chloe went online denying it too. Two things can be true at once. You wanted to preserve your pregnancy and you was also out here gaslighting the public to sustain your brand. And just stand on that. If you just stood on that, I promise you, nobody would care. But because you're still gaslighting and you're still on some, I wanted to protect my peace. And then like you're showing us all of this pregnancy shit that we do not care about, that the blogs is going to keep posting because they know it's going to get engagement. That's why the conversation is still going. That's why. And you know this, you know this, you know this. But Okay. Somebody else posted a tweet. Um, okay. LMAO, do y'all remember seeing this pic on my Insta? We photoshopped out my belly. My belly was so cute. I can't believe he's not in there anymore. <sighs> yeah. The girl said, Holly girl, we know. She's sending me so bad. Like, I get with, like, honestly, listen, and I know some of her 12 year old fans probably gonna get in here. Listen, bitch, this is a 21 year old channel, okay? Don't come over here with that shit. Y'all better go watch some Nickelodeon, some SpongeBob. Go, matter of fact, go put on The Little Mermaid. You such a fan. Go rewatch the movie, okay? Go under the sea with that bullshit. At the end of the goddamn day, hey, she just said something, everything would have went away. Now people gonna talk. Because what you're not going to do is sit here and come back with all of these pregnancy pictures and then on top of that be like, okay, look here. Didn't I fool y'all? <laughs> Didn't I fool y'all? Yeah, this right here where y'all, when everybody said that I was pregnant and I said, nah, I'm not pregnant and y'all dumb and y'all this, that, and the third for making fun of my nose when I knew that, yeah, no, my nose really was going wild and it wasn't just because I was black. It's, it's because, and I'm not making a race joke, y'all. That's literally what like Chloe and Hallie said. They, they said something about their nose and being black. They try to make it a colorism type of thing. That's what people are saying when they say y'all gaslit us. Okay? So it's not me joking about noses. That's what they said, literally. But that's my point. Showing pregnancy pictures, post-pregnancy pictures now is weird. It's not something that people do. Okay, cool. We get over that. But then to now be revealing shit like, see, I was lying here. I was lying here. I got y'all. But you said that you didn't care. And why do we care so much? So why are you doing this? I'm sorry. Anybody that get in my comments trying to defend this bullshit, you're weird. 
you're weird. You're weird. Like I said, she need to be focused on other shit. Like the fact that her man couldn't even be there on her, the most important night of her life next to her. The fact that you had to hide your pregnancy and your husband for your brand, for your career. That's sad. And if that's not a red flag, I don't know what is. And the fact that you had this baby a month after he got exposed for cheating on you. And it wasn't even like it was an old thing. Like he was still cheating on her a month before she got pregnant. But okay. Not my wound, not my pussy, not my body, not my life. But I'm telling y'all, Hallie is literally a suburban version of Krishan. Hallie and DDG are literally the suburban YouTube version of Blueface and Krishan. They are. That's why they best friends. That's why they be kicking it together. And it's giving real clickbaity. It's give, it's giving real YouTube prankster. Like I that's that'd be another thing that'd be pissing me off with this. Like, how don't you like maybe because I've been on YouTube since 2016, damn near 10 years. If this was a YouTube couple, we would be looking at them sideways. The way that y'all used to be lighting YouTubers up just for moving houses a lot. Yet nobody's looking at her and not seeing the, the YouTube type content throughout all of this. No. Y'all not seeing how it's a bit clout chasey and a bit like profiting off pregnancy. Like, okay, cool. Like I said, not my baby, not my body, not my life. I'm just here to get my opinion and go because that's what I do. It's my channel. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else in the comments that I want to get to? Because I said we was going to spend too long on this. Y'all need to leave Hallie alone. Girl, shut the fuck up. She lying now. She most definitely deny and call people delusional and stalkers when she should have never even addressed it. Just popped out with Lil Halo. Right. And like people keep saying, Kylie Jenner did it right. We didn't even know that bitch was pregnant until the fucking Super Bowl. She literally hid all the way up into the Super Bowl weekend, and then her pregnancy overshadowed the Super Bowl. That's how you do it. That's how you clear a bitch. But see, you couldn't do that because you was on your little mermaid press tour. That's how I know it was an un... Child, because I was about to say that with confidence, but I don't know if it was planned or unplanned. All I know is the fact that you got pregnant a month after the boy was cheating. That's all I know. But no, you ranted about not being pregnant and now want to take us on your journey, girl. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen. Okay. Um, be proud about your baby the first time you wanted to hide it and blew the experience. Riri flaunted hers as she should. You care about what people think. So now we, girl, ain't nobody reading all that. I'm glad she finally clapped. Okay. Well, fuck you too. Hallie is so classy. That was a classy read. So with classy is being mm, classy is being paired with DDJ. Y'all just be using words. Right. She would have gotten that ring first if she was classy. Exactly. Okay. She would have gotten that ring first if she was classy. She had a baby out of wedlock and out of spite to one up his his ex. That's classy. Girl, you are a child. Probably have yet to earn a degree or learn anything outside of grad school. Oh, but I forgot we live in 2024 where, listen, let me not speak too much. I forgot Gen Z and Gen Alpha think real differently. Rules a little bit different in 2024. Y'all act like her lying about her pregnancy stood, stopped y'all from getting paid. Um, no, bitch. I see. I hate when y'all do shit like this. Who cares? And da 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 da. Um, because I can literally, because don't don't sit here and try to act like, oh my God, who cares? Why are we talking about this and this, that, and the third? When I can literally go to this post right here and see a thousand reasons why people care. Y'all not getting paid for these comments when it comes to Nikki. But look at all of these comments with people going in, going in bashing Nikki. So I'm sorry. Don't nobody give a fuck who the hell Hallie is. She's going to get treated just like everybody else. Everybody else get cursed out and talked about and picked apart and... That's what we're gonna do. That's what that's what we're gonna do. I'm sorry, that's 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 what we're gonna do. Okay, so yeah. Hallie is no exception. She's no exception. Again, she played in this little clout chasey game, and so people have opinions, and people have every right to say those said opinions. Anything else? Holding is fine, but again, to call others delusional and flip out over the room is even more delusional. Right. <laughs> he unable to give a damn. Please try again later. <laughs> you had just to sit out here about to fight us, please. Right. And she can still keep it to herself. Not saying she was joking about her nose. 
girl, you went in and even brought race into it. Okay, so I knew I was I knew I wasn't lying. I knew I wasn't lying. She definitely brought race into it. That's what I'm talking about. See how easy it is to manipulate y'all motherfuckers? All you gotta do is bring race, a skin color, or pussy into it, or an ain't shit nigga into it. And y'all antennas go up, the capes go on, y'all out the door ready to fight in March. They brought race into it and tried to make it a colorism, racism issue. And then now all of a sudden, we're doing the fucking most and we care too much. Okay. If we care too much about this and y'all care too much about Nikki. Photoshopping your pregnant belly to fool the internet is lying, but she doesn't owe anyone anything. It was her choice. Didn't Kylie Jenner did the same thing on her first and second child? It was all smiles and worldwide much more attention than the Super Bowl. Or was number two after the Super Bowl. Yet when Halle Bailey does the same thing, it's the people being rude and degrading her for a safe delivery but not. See, you trying to turn. Listen, you little dumb little bitch. This bitch is trying to turn this shit into a, a, a colorism topic. Into a racism topic. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You missing, you missing the fucking point. Let's see if somebody corrected her. Let's see if somebody corrected her. Because she missing a point. Kylie disappeared for nine months. Right, exactly. I knew there was a critical thinker in the chat. Okay, nobody saw her online or in person. There was no real proof until she had the baby. See, start listening to me, y'all. This is what the fuck I mean when I say people are ready to fucking manipulate your emotions for their selfish narratives. This girl tried to compare her to Kylie Jenner to get a whole race thing going. But when the black girls do it, shut the fuck up. Y'all bitches need to go heal. Go find y'all daddies and go sit down on somebody's couch and heal together and talk about that shit. I'm so sick of y'all riling everybody else up. Please, y'all. Those of y'all that's smart and can think for yourself, please protect your energy and your emotions. That's why I talk about this shit so much. Because y'all don't realize how just simple conversation that you might think is harmless with somebody else can really like fuck you up or get you fucked up. Come on now. This has nothing to do with race. It has everything to do with Kylie deciding to sit the fuck down and Hallie deciding to be outside. Why is the world in an uproar? Girl, shut up. I agree with her. Girl, you shut up too. People on Twitter be so pressed. Shut up. Yeah, she should post it behind the scenes to her close friends. Right. Like, if I get that you want to share, that's totally fine. You, you want to share. But bitch, share that shit to your close friends. Clearly, the public does not care or unfollow her the fuck. Baby, we not following her. The, bo the bloggers is posting it. She want to share that shit? Share it to the people who give a fuck, which is your close friends. Start a sky phone. Text it to your fans. Not going to lie, the desperate comment was what did it for me. I respect all women's decisions on motherhood. So high in the pregnancy, definitely more power to you. But to get on the internet and call people desperate, like, come on. Like, bitches can't birth a, a baby every day. Please. Because I could really say some disrespectful shit, but... We're going to keep it cute and Christian, like Hallie. People are with us fuck to be invested this much. We're not invested. My issue is if she wanted to be private, then be private. There wasn't a need to post or even address your nose, okay? It was gaslight, and she never had to say anything at all. I feel like I have respected it more, right? Like, and as much as she looked like Janet Jackson, she needed to move like Janet Jackson. There's a whole secret baby that people still talk about, but we don't know the truth about because Janet will never address it. Move more like Janet, since you want to look like her and you want to play her in an upcoming Poetic Justice Part 2 reboot, baby, move just like Janet. What would Janet do? WWJD. When Kylie was pregnant, that's what she did and it was no issue. But Hallie kept appearing and tried to make it seem like we were crazy. She was working. What is wrong with y'all? Right? So if you know that you got to work and you obligated to be outside, then, uh, then this is what comes with it. The fuck? Um, not when she addressed her nose on Snapchat. She was commenting to a supporter. Hallie and her baby daddy were rude and thought they were the king and queen of deception. Exactly. They were extremely rude. They're a YouTube couple. But apparently y'all don't know what that means anymore. Just like how everybody looking at Ms. Netta and Charles like, why are they going on tour? What the fuck they going to do? Baby, YouTube is used to tour to do nothing too. It's called a meet and greet. That's what the fuck a meet and greet is. That's how I know that this 24, 2024 era is way different than 2016. Because, like, everybody out here trying to move like a YouTuber. But it's not, it's not translating. 
we would see video and pics shot by other photographers, and then she would Photoshop her own and call her fans crazy. I believe her team did not accept her choices and took time to process her decisions. I mean, she was on a Little Mermaid press tour and then got pregnant by a YouTuber. Exactly. What's not clicking? It's my issue on how it was dealt. But nonetheless, it's not very serious. No, it doesn't really matter. It really don't. And if she shut the fuck up and move on and stop posting shit and post to close friends, like, we wouldn't be talking about it. I just feel like after the black community wrote at dawn for you, after the world was in the uproar of the Little Mermaid casting, you might want to hold the momentum to keep your business, your business. By all means, thank God you had a safe pregnancy and delivery. Enjoy your baby. Postpartum, it comes off like trolling. That's exact and took the words right out of my mouth. That's exactly what all of this comes out as. It feels like YouTube trolling. It feels like trolling tactics by a YouTuber. And I'm always have a some sort of interest in this because I'm a YouTuber. And so I see, I know what people do for clicks and views and money. And I'm telling you, it's given 2016 doing it for the click, doing it for the clout. It's weird. Like, if you want to be happy, go be happy. But, like, just, it's like a baby rollout. Like, it's crazy how we can point it out when Krishan is doing it, but we can't point it out with, with Hallie. I know her baby named Halo, but damn, does she have a Halo effect around her? What's going on? It comes off like trolling and it's condescending. Share the journey now that you're ready, but to keep showing the part you want it private is weird. Right, exactly. Like, <laughs> Okay, the damn baby is here. Cool, let's celebrate the life of the baby. Let's celebrate Halo. First birthday, first baby steps. Cool, all of that is cool. But the part that you keep saying, we were so nosy to know, stop fucking showing us, bitch. Because then it comes off a certain way. I don't understand. It comes off a certain way. Like, I think people would be more receptive to this if you was just showing, okay, Halo growing up. Cool, totally fine. But you're saying y'all desperate because y'all wanted to know what was going on. And then dot, dot, dot proceeds to show us what was going on. What? Let me reread this comment. It comes off like trolling and it's condescending. Share the journey now that you're ready. But to keep showing the part you want it private is weird. Because did you want privacy or not? Was it sacred then but not now? Again, blessings to the family in a new edition. But you're in an industry where your fan base is everything to your brand. Why laugh in their face? And that's all I'm saying. And that's how I feel about it. I'm going to still stream all of Chloe and Halle's music, both separately and together. I'm still a fan, okay? Because musically, I, I love their music. I feel like they are way ahead of their time. I feel like they are some of the best artists out. Um, I feel like they are our future. They are the artists that I look forward to having a re residency in Vegas in 20 years. Like, I still love their music. But as a commentator, I have an opinion on your business because your business makes me money with my business so it is what it is i don't have any personally feelings towards them like i keep saying that's her body her life cool you just look dumb having a baby with a nigga whose ex just exposed the fact that he was cheating not even a month before you got pregnant you will forever look dumb for that and people that want to project in the comments and whatnot it's okay you was probably dumb too and made similar mistakes that's that's fine that's fine. We all make make some type of mistakes in our life. It's fine. But let's go ahead and end this before I end up saying something that offends somebody. Child, let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. I'm sure Hallie going to do something else next week that we're going to be talking about. Make sure that y'all go and y'all stream my new song, Show Me The Money. It's literally available everywhere. Make sure that you go and you watch the collective video that I uploaded, okay, if it resonates. Um, definitely go to my website, thealignedsouls.com, which is literally on screen right now, to book you a personal reading. And if you want to send me a tea time, send me a long, juicy, detailed story to my email, okay, where you can also add swear advice and whatnot. And yeah, it'll be featured in a future video. So I love each and every one of y'all, allegedly, in the HD audio, child. I'll see you in the next one. Universal bad bitch.